Yeah, so pumpkins are interesting. If we're at the University of Washington Farm, of course, we're going to try to get a little academic. And pumpkins fall into the cucurbitaceae family. If you can remember, cucumbers are also in that, cucurbitaceae. There's cucurbit maxima, moshato, and pepo. They're also related to cantaloupes, cucumbers, zucchini, watermelon, all in the same plant family. But winter squash, we have a special fondness for this time of year because of their bright orange color, but they actually have a vast array of colors, spots, speckles. Traditionally, people who made pumpkin pie, they used a much smaller called New England pie pumpkin. Uh, the super large, gigantic pumpkins that you're seeing now that top out about 2,000 pounds. All over the nation right now, there are weigh-ins, and they actually have an Oktoberfest where the pumpkins are so big that people sit inside them and they actually have a regatta. And those varieties of pumpkins are gonna be in the Maxima family. The squash family is really interesting. It takes on average about 10 visits from a pollinator to equal one of the fruit. How do they grow so big? They can grow 50 pounds in one day towards the end of their life. A lot of it's water watering them to get them really big and then the nutrition of the soil and then its environment how warm how much sun as well as genetics DNA in the seeds that are selecting for something that's really big for those people wanting to grow pumpkins I would say this plant family the cucurbits are probably the easiest plant family to grow I think everybody should give it a try